Now this is what we have been waiting for. Because the Braxton started off, you know, it was cool and everything. Um, the first two or three episodes was pretty juicy. Um, and then, you know, it just had funny moments here and there. But this episode was good all the way through. It, it was tight and it was right. Um, I'm just going to go off straight off memory um, because I lost my notes and everything. And so, yeah, here we go. So, um, it pretty much began where it left off last week. You know, the girls are backstage. Tamar is um, nerve-sided about um, the performance, meaning she's half nervous and half excited. She's saying that she's nervous, you know, mainly because, you know, this is Atlanta, like our second home. The sisters are there and it's just nerve wracking as hell because she's just like, you know, what to do? I just don't want to mess up. And um, Tawanda, Trina, Tracy is very much like, girl, it's all right, it's okay. Um, Tony had rehearsal for something, but who's shocked that Tony didn't show up i mean really um so you know the baby comes and he's so cute looking like vince this white man says a real good prayer i almost caught the holy ghost and it was so funny when the man was saying the prayer it was he was pretty much saying like he, it was almost like he was directing it directing it the prayer towards the girls um with some of the stuff that he was saying now this whole time we all know that um, Trina Braxton have been having very much second thoughts about this whole entire thing. Tawanda was like, girl, it's going to be all right. You know, we're going to go up there. We're going to get a life. We're going to pop, 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 pop. Yes. And it's just what it's going to be. And Tracy's just, she's just happy to be on stage, child. So, um, uh, Tamar, she gets to the, she starts performing and everything. Well, no, before that, she had like a little meet and greet moment. Um, she sat down, she looked cute in her white, and she was talking to the fans and all that. Anyway, um, she starts performing, cut to, yeah, cut to the stage. Um, she had on this white one-piece moment, um, with the legs out in a hood. It was actually cute. It was a little too young for her, but it was cute. And, um... <laughs> So all the girls listen in the in the audience and includes the mother, and they all sit down, talk, and having moments. And um, all of a sudden the girls get up. They was like, well, "We've been sitting here for a while, and it's time for us to get up because we have to perform." And so they all go back and you know get ready. They rehearse one more time. Trina pops it and shakes it and drops it in the mirror, and um. They have on these little tight outfits, and it's apparently outfits that, you know, they used to wear when they used to sing back up for Tony, you know, so they pull that out the attic and put it on, this shiny material. I, I didn't have, I thought the outfits was cute, but Tamar didn't like them, of course. So, um, Tamar is talking to the audience, and she's like, you gotta throw your head back like this. You got to take it to the flow, yeah got to get down on go knees and pop it pop it i was like oh tamar <laughs> she thinks she's beyonce and it's so tragic who's gonna tell her like she and that hair like the outfit it was just moments so anyway the girls go out on stage tamar turns around and sees them she has a fit. She's like, that is not funny. All of a sudden, she throws. This, she drinks some water, and then she throws the rest of it on Tracy or in Tracy's direction. Um, Trina is just very much so forgetting the whole choreography. Tawanda's in her whole little world. She's happy to be on stage. She's happy to be, to have her moment. And she's happy to ruin some for Tamar, I'm sure. And, you know, they have their moment, and Tamar was just like, y'all might as well just come on stage. And her, her confessionals, Tamar was just like, what the, what the hell is this? It's three Teletubbies, and these dresses is just too tight. It's just wrong, 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 and more wrong. But is it to me, or did the dresses that Trina, Tawanda, and Tracy had on 
damn near matched what Tamar had on, except hers was blue and theirs was black. Am I the only one? So if they got on shit that's not right for them and, and tacky and whatever, the shit is wrong for you as well. Okay? Like, at the end of the day, y'all all sisters. And Tamar's body is snatched now. She done lost some weight or got it sucked out of her or whatever. But, you know, come on now. They And honestly, I think all the girls look good, actually. Trina's losing some weight. Tracy has lost a lot of weight, and Tawanda's body has always been on point. So, hey. So the girls um, pussy pop and high kick off the stage. Tracy and, T and Trina gets into it. Tracy was just like, the, the, the thing messed up because of Trina. She didn't know her dang steps. And um, Trina was just like, no, no, because it was back at the house. And I didn't mess up my, my steps. Um, um, Tracy, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my parent. They getting all into it. Tawana was just like, well, I had fun. Shit. I ain't seen no problem with it. I had a ball. I got my life. You know, shit. It's just another time. Something else I can mark off my bucket list. I thought she was happy. I thought it was great. Trina was like, no, Tawanda. Did you not see that she said this is not funny? She did not like this. All right? Tawanda was just like, well, whatever. Cut to like, um... So the, the girls are sitting in the room when, you know, all this is going down behind stage. So, but apparently, here's the here's the tea. The tour manager, the tour manager apparently told the girls, well, told Trina specifically, well, but was talking to all of them that, you know, we want you to leave. You need to leave. Very much so get out the building. And Trina was just like, wow. And apparently, um, T Tamar was cussing. She was, you know, people beside her was hearing it. She was cussing, calling them all kind of fat bitches and wrong. And these bitches messed up my moment. And this bitch and that bitch and those bitches over there. But that bitch down the street. She was just going off on her sister. She was just very much so upset about them coming and ruining her moment. Um, so, like I said, the touring manager asked him to leave. Then Ashley, um, Tamar stylist, said, you know, that she wasn't talking about y'all, that y'all can leave. And Trina was like, no, I very much so got the message and I'm gone. I'm out. So all the girls, so all the girls leave. So they meet up with Tony. I guess this is like the next day. And um, Tony, you know, she wasn't there, of course. Um, she was booked. And... She they tells the girl they tell Tony about everything. Tony is very much so shocked and flabbergasted by the whole thing. And she's like, Oh my god, are you serious? Is that really what happened? Tamar I mean, um, the girls was just like, Yeah, that's what happened and she called us a bitch and you know, she put us out. We're her sisters and she put us out of the damn event, out of her tour. Like, how dare you? And Tony was just like, well, you know, um, uh, look, girls, I'm just going to have to talk to Tamar. I'm just going to have to talk to Tamar about it and, you know, see what she says. And all the girls just like, okay. But, you know, I don't know what, what you can say to her, but that's what happened. So Tony meets up with Tamar. And Tamar was just like, hey, bitch, what's up? Just all chill. Um, long story short, let's just cut to the chase. Tawanda was like, not Tawanda, these teas. Tony was like, um, so, um, Tamar, how was your show in Georgia? Tamar was like, well, it was interesting. My sisters tried to surprise me. So they gone, you know, I was performing or whatever. They gonna come on stage. All right. And... I very much so asked them, well, y'all might as well just stay on stage. And then they left. <laughs> oh, really, Tamar? Is that all that happened? And Tony was like, well, I heard that you treated them wrong backstage. And Tawanda was like, and Tamar was like, what you mean? Tony goes on to tell um, Tamar that, you know, they said that she was cussing. She was calling her sisters all kind of ugly names. And she actually put them out, her own family members, out of her tour, out of her concert. 
And um, Tamar was like, what? Look, this is what happened. So the touring manager had, you know, said that he was just going to put everybody out. Everybody was going to leave. He was going to put everybody out. And so that's what he did. You know, I didn't mean necessarily my sisters. But Tony was like, well, Tamar, you know, you very much so control that. You're the artist. You're the star. This is your tour. You very much so should have just said that not my sisters. And Tamar was like, well, look, that's not my fault. That's just not my job. That's just not. Like, he said he was going to put everybody out. And that's just it. Well, did you call your sisters bitches and go off like that? Look. I was upset. I was mad, and that's just what it is. I was cussing everybody out. I was cussing Vince out. I was cussing the baby out. I was cussing the champagne out. I was cussing the I was cussing the hairbrush out. Everybody was getting cussed out that night. That's just what it is. Now I really don't remember like what I said specifically. Okay, and that's just what it is. Tony was like, "Look, it's not like that, and you're wrong." They go into, um, actually, this is not um, a new thing for the Braxton girls. Tony was like, um, remember in one of my shows, I, I think she said the Unbreak My Heart tour, and when y'all girls surprised me and came on stage. And Tamar was like, nope, I don't remember that. And Tony was like, well, look, just because you don't remember it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Tamar was just like, look, whatever. And it's just, you know, honestly what it is. Um, Tony was like, do you really think it's like that, though? Like, you know, I don't think they was trying to be anything. Tamar was just like, look, this is just my moment to shine. And they just, you know, messed it up for me. Didn't nobody let me know nothing. Like, uh, honestly, and that's just what it is. Now, I understand Tamar's point of view um, in a way because this is her first tour. She's probably nerve-sighted, like she said. I get all that. But, um... I just felt like it was um, it was handled very un poorly on her part. And at the end of the day, she is an artist. What she says goes. If if the tour manager indeed said for everybody to exit the premises, she could have just said, "Well, of course. Well, wait a minute. Don't tell tell them my my sisters not to leave or something." And she was telling Tony that she was disappointed that her sisters went in her dressing room right after she got finished performing. Why? So she can go off on them and throw a, like. Honestly, like, you know, everybody knows Tamar would have went off. Tamar wants to shine. Tamar wants her moment. Tamar wants to one day have a, career, a singing career like Tony. Will it ever happen? I don't know. I'm not Miss Cleo. Um, but I doubt it. I feel like somebody said this. I remember somebody said this once. I can't remember, but it was like very much so. It seems to them that Tamar cares more about being famous than just her than actually just singing. And that makes a lot of sense. Because Tamar is more so known for the doc for her personality other than her singing. And that's just very much so the truth. Um now it she did prove in a way that she throws a bottle every night or whatever, but it very much so looked like she threw that bottle directly at Tracy because she looked at her and threw the damn bottle. Now, um, I would have, she would have got clocked on that stage. Like, uh-uh. That whole no fighting rule that they had, that they have would have been out the window, darling. Out the window. Very much so quickly. All the girls meet up. I have a, um, dinner and everything. And, you know, it starts off fine. Tony ends up, Tony tells them that, look, I can't work with anybody else, like she said. And, you know, we think, she thinks that we, that we should get Babyface to do the first single. Tamar was very much like, no, I'm protecting my coin. Babyface, you know, to work with Babyface, he charged way too damn much. And ain't nobody got time for that. It was like, is we going to get a sister's fee? That was just like, yeah. But Tamar was like, look, I'm just not really interested in working with your people, Tony, that you got set up. That's pretty much how the old argument um, happened. All of a sudden, um, Tamar had said something. And um, Trina, her and Trina had got into it. And um, because, well, I think what pissed Trina off is that they was somehow saying that Tony paved the way for Tamar. And, Tony, and Tamar was just like, no, Jesus paved the way for me. That fucking set them off. And, you know, Trina and Tamar got into it. And they was just yelling at each other real close to each other, pretty much. It was just Tracy between them. 
you know, a lot of hands, a lot of a lot of wigs moving, and it was just a lot. Tamar ended up calling her a bitch. Trina was just like, "Is that am I the same bitch that you put out your shoe?" And that was pretty much how it ended. This episode was crazy. Um, did Tony Braxton pave the way for Tamar Braxton? Hashtag duh. Tamar is a fool not to think so. Je uh, Jesus paves the way for all of us. But at the end of the day, you, my dear, in this particular case, if it wasn't for Tony Braxton, wouldn't nobody give a shit about any of the other Braxtons? Wouldn't nobody give a shit about the show? Honestly, because didn't nobody, wouldn't nobody know y'all like that? Honestly. I mean, the whole Braxton Family Value show was Tamar's idea, the story goes. And, you know, T Tony just agreed to do it. But this show is very much so just um, the launching pad for Tamar to emerge to the people. And for Tamar to get her career started back. Honestly, it's what it was for. T Tony was already made. So, honestly, you have to respect Tony. And Tony didn't jump into the argument with Trina and Tamar. She was just like, look, I ain't got nothing to prove to this bitch. Nothing. Which she don't. Um... Hmm, I'm kind of torn with this, but, um, yeah. Do y'all think that Tawanda did this out of spite, that she knew in the back of her head that Tamar would probably be upset about them coming on stage and, in her mind, ruining her, her Georgia set? Do y'all think she just did that just for the hell of it, just to piss Tamar off because she knew that Tamar would go off and so it looked like Tamar is the bad guy now? I don't know. I don't really think it's that deep. Because they seem to be, have been getting along okay up until this point. But they know how Tamar is. They should have just listened to Trina. But the way Tamar handled it was ugly. She treated them like some crazy obsessed fan or something. It was just wrong. It just, it, it just went hot. I am Mr. Chalak. <laughs> I'm Mr. Chalak on Google Plus. Follow me. I am at this King's World on Twitter and I'm Chase King with we'll you on Facebook. Look, make sure you guys please retweet this video and share and comment and like and just tell me your thoughts on this review and this episode of Tony Tracy to Wonder Trina Tama and Missy will teach you a thing or two best in family value. Yeah. Next week, season finale.